is actually a very young woman. Uh, I heard about her from uh, the internet. Uh, but uh, until uh, Corina, um, so I'm thankful to Corina for sharing this story with us today. Uh, Corina Dinu is in class 5 at the School of Alexander Yomakuza. Now she is a teacher of professor. Yes, English teacher. Uh, ne va povesti despre Nadia Murad. Nu știu dacă o cunoașteți. Uh, she is a human rights activist born in 1993. Yeah. Uh, Corina ne va spune la sfârșit, dar uh, menționez de la început, cum vedeți, a câștigat premiul Nobel pentru pace anul trecut. Uh, ok. So very strong and emotional story. There was a girl named Nadia who dreamt of becoming a history teacher or a makeup artist. Nadia belonged to the Yazidi religion, an ancient faith indigenous to northern Iraq. One terrible day when Nadia was 19, a terrorist group called ISIS invaded Kocho, killed her mother and brothers, and kidnapped her and many other Yazidi women. Nadia was held hostage by men who hurt her badly. She was desperate, but she constantly looked for opportunities to escape. One day, she noticed that her captors had forgotten to lock the door. Without a moment's hesitation, she slipped out and ran. A neighboring family helped her leave the region and reach a refugee camp where she would be safe. I might not be a history teacher or a makeup artist, she thought, but I'll do all I can to help other women who are still prisoners of ISIS. Nadia was resettled in Germany, where she started working with, working with a non-profit organization. It was hard for her to talk about what she'd been through. When something really painful happens, we wish, we wish all the memories would go away. But Nadia realized that if she kept silent, no one would know what was happening to girls like her. So she found the courage to speak out. She told her story to journalists and spoke before the United Nations. Thanks to her testimony, global leaders told about terrible violence being perpetrated by ISIS fighters. Nadia was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize and she was awarded the Nobel Prize in December 2018. I want, I want to be the last girl in the world with a story like mine. Our fate is in our actions. Thank you. Thank you.